What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome. Today I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite characters, the guest character from King of Fighters, Mr. Geese Howard. I love him, oh so charismatic, so evil. Uh, he really is one of my favorites, but he's a, he's a nightmare to play against. Like, a lot of fun to, to play, but you guys complain a lot about Geese, and I completely understand. He's a nightmare to play against, and I have to be perfectly honest here, Trying to construct and write down notes on this character episode, I'm, ju I'm just laughing quite a bit because I'm like, what are the good counters versus Geese? And don't get me wrong, he absolutely has weaknesses, but boy oh boy does he have abusable stuff and he's, he's super strong, he's got great defense, he's got great offense, and you're like, again, he has weaknesses, we're gonna get into them. But holy shit, uh, it's a lot of work trying to fight him, he's very strong, I'm gonna try and help you guys, but yeah, uh, it's hard. So, we're gonna get into four general rules, and we're gonna get into five, uh, no, four details as well. So, Geese is very dangerous up close, very dangerous, but the character has range problems. So trying to stay away is a very good idea. He's much less dangerous if you just if you're a couple of steps away from the character. Um, if you're a couple of steps away, he's gonna try and get into you with down four. If you block that low, he, he gets launched for it. But he really has no long range moves here to try and hit you. And this is demonstrated in if if you fight with Paul versus Keys. He can't punish Death Fist on block. He has range problems. He's one of the few characters who, if you are a couple of steps away, he's just not that dangerous. Forward 1 plus 2 is a long range mid launcher, but it's very slow. Forward 4 is also slow. Uh, doesn't do anything scary unless on counter hit. So backdash away and keep, keep your guard up as you do so, and you'll be able to block these moves. So down 4, not scary unless he gets a counter hit. So this is one of his greatest weaknesses. So if you have moves that are normally, uh, you know, moves that on block knock people far away, like Paul's Death Fist, uh, please take advantage of the fact that this guy will not be able to punish you if he knocks you far away. Uh, if you knock him far away on block. Um, and for example, uh, from far away, maybe he will try and repook in you like this. Um, you can easily counter this sort of thing with jumping attacks. Take advantage of the fact that the repooken slides across the ground. With Kazia, you can do Hell Lancer. That's CD3. Uh, and yeah, just uh, d don't let him abuse that s sort of thing. Uh, and again, like, um, Geese has this 50-50, which is very annoying, that comes out of strings, but unless he's doing that sort of pressure, uh, maybe he'll try and apply this 50-50 with down 1 plus 2. And again, this move very much demonstrates Geese range problems. If, he's st if you're standing right next to him, massive damage, he even gets a follow-up, but the move has no range whatsoever. So if it hits, for example, from if you're backdashing and it hits from max range, he doesn't even get the follow-up. But you see the range problems. So there we get max range. You see? He doesn't get the follow-up. So all he gets now is the initial hit. So backdashing away from Geese, you have only things to gain from this. Only things to gain. Uh, so that, that's the general rule number one. Super dangerous from up close. Not so dangerous. Okay, this is very important. Uh, and now, Geese is a counter hit god. So again, standing next to him pressing buttons is a very bad idea. A lot of people think that Geese is all about offense, but his defense is incredible. So it's not all just about the fantastic parry, but it's like, down 4 is a move that crouches and crushes quite a bit. 
got it's got range and it launches you on counter hit. And he has standing four, which is a great keep out move. Great counter hit tool, which launches on counter hit. He has down for two, which is a homing mid with long range, which is quite fast. Launches on counter hit. Uh, and then you might think, Law, he's down to three. Oh, it's so annoying. Counter hit launcher. Best panic move. 10 frames fast. But that's minus 16 on block. Geese, and a lot of people don't know this. Geese, dick jab. What am I doing? I'm trying to do a key charge. That's guaranteed on counter hit. Dick jab into... You know, just incredible damage. And it's kind of safe. Because he can do whatever he wants after that. He, he can apply every mix-up he has. So it's like... Probably the best dick jab in the game. So, when you're fighting against a geese, be very careful about when you attack. Because his counter hit game is incredibly strong. It's incredibly strong. Don't press buttons. And Geese is very weak to, to sidestepping. It's like his homing moves, standing four, unless you're pressing buttons, not a lot of damage. Down for two, if you're not pressing buttons, not a lot of that, a lot of that. <laughs> uh, and this is great. You know, his back three two used to be homing. Used to be a great move to catch people stepping him. Uh, it was nerfed, so you can very easily step it. So yeah, it 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 really emphasizes how important it is to sidestep right. In my opinion, sidestep right. That that's the good uh, direction to step keys. So we're going to record two forward one, down four, uh, down forward one one. Repukem. Forward one plus two. All of these, if I time my sidestep properly, can get get us to geese back very often. Oh. No, down for 1-1 one, one is hard to sidestep. You, you have to do it with perfect timing. But it is it is certainly possible. Uh, so what I'm trying to stress here is, is that sidestepping right versus geese and not pressing any buttons, wait for him to whiff, is generally a very good idea. He's weak to sidestepping. Um... And then a lot of people are very annoyed with Geese, uh, the 50-50 he has from his um, quarter, quarter circle back to 3, or quarter circle back to 4. Uh, is it reasonable to find this obnoxious and annoying? Yes. It's, this, it's, it's a really good 50-50. Uh, if you're lucky enough, oops. If you're lucky enough to fight a highly predictable geese, who always applies this 50-50 from two forward one, yeah, it's not gonna be difficult. Oh, I'll, I'll just duck the third hit and launch him. No problem. But again, it's highly hypothetical. A good geese. He's gonna throw it on its own, like this. He's gonna do it from down four. He's gonna do it from a dick jab. I mean, like this, maybe. God, you have to be so fast. Maybe... I know, yeah, you can do it from a jab. Um, it, can, it can do it from almost anything. Da down three, one. It's like, this mix-up can come at any time. So it, it's very hypothetical to say, oh, just duck the high, just duck the high. But it's very important to know that you can duck the high. 
So if you're playing a Geist who's super predictable, please do that. Um, and it's also worth noting that some characters have a get out of jail free card here, like Armor King. Back one four will dodge both options. Both uh, kick and the sweep. The mid kick and the sweep. Uh, there are more characters who have something like this. Uh, so if your character have something to dodge that, then go for it. Um, but uh, try and read the geese player. Uh, many geese are quite, you know, like to spam the sweep because it's launch punishable. Uh, so yeah, it's, I just don't have a good answer on this string. It's a really good string. You can try and fuzzy guard it, like keep your guard up for as long as possible. Because the sweep is slightly slower. But I, I, I can't do this, I can't fuzzy guard this. And good luck doing it online. This string uh, is honestly just very good. I, I, If you're fighting a good geese, who does that from many different setups, it's, it's just very difficult. I like to do that and I get it to hit on a lot of great players, so... Um, that's just a very good 50-50. Um, and then another really good rule that you should keep in mind, and now we're, in, we're into the details. Geese is, is standing launcher forward 1 plus 2 where he jumps is very slow. Unless Geese has a 1 meter, he cannot launch you. Uh, no, he can't do a fast launcher. He can't... He has no 15 frames standing launcher. Back 3 2 is 14 frames. It's an amazing punisher. It's a great move. But he needs 1 meter to use it. So, what does that mean? If you start a fight versus a geese, naturally he has no meter. Wow! Go 4 with Kuma, down for 2 1. It's usually it's minus 15, but geese won't be able to launch it. Or uh, Bob, while standing 2 1, he won't be able to launch it. Uh, Negan's Power Crush, forward 1 plus 2, all of these moves that are great but very risky, abuse them! Try and hit him with them, because he won't be able to launch you, and as soon as he has one bar, be careful. Please keep this in mind, it's very important, and once he's used up his meter, oh, abuse that shit! It's a big weakness Geese has, that he needs meter to launch punish you. Very important. And please, uh, a lot of people let Geese players get away with his uh, his power crush. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, for example, very often they'll do uh, 2 forward 1 into this power crush here. And not even bother with the mid mix-up version, which is, which is the half circle back 4. Please punish this. Please get into your system to duck that. Do not let him get away with that because otherwise he knocks you back, it's perfectly safe and he keeps up the pressure. Break his momentum. Please, it's very important. Um, and now we're gonna talk about geese at the wall. Be very careful when you approach geese at the wall. And you, you know how, how this works. Oh, I, I, I want a wall spot him. I'm, I'm just gonna forward forward two. Super obviously as he's standing up at the wall. I'm just gonna forward forward two. Well, Geese can buffer his parry from a tech roll. Or from, from, from anything, from blocking. And yeah, you probably know Geese mid parry. Wow. Uh, we're just gonna switch sides. Uh, I'm getting lovely misinputs here. <laughs> okay. Record. This parry right here, it can kill you at the wall. It's so powerful. So be very careful how you attack a geese at the wall. Don't do it obviously after you've knocked him down and he's standing up and go for the mid. Wait a little bit and then attack. Don't give him an easy parry. But this is more advanced geese rather than green rank geese. And again, 
know that Geese, when he has his back towards the wall, it's not only the parry you have to worry about, it's this throw. Please break it, because this is guaranteed. You see that damage? It is insane. So remember, he might do that throw, stay a little bit away from him, because it's got short range, you know. Stay a little bit away, general rule versus Geese, don't stand too close. Um, and if he does get the throw, be ready to do a 1 plus 2 break, because the damage is just so absurdly high. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about is... Um, sorry. Uh, the downforward 1-1, one, one, downforward 1-4. One, so, if you block a downforward 1-4, he's minus 13. So very important to punish him. And though this goes for forward 4 alone as well, which has the same animation. Minus 13, take the punish. Uh, and down forward 1-1, one, one, of course, the second hit is high. Uh, wow. So, of course, never let a geese be able to always spam down forward 1-1 one, one, or, or down forward 1-4. One, it's not like you'll be able to duck down for 1-1 one, one on reaction, of course, but what I'm saying is, if someone's always doing down for 1-1, one, one, 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 try and get the, the while standing launcher, uh, or while standing for something fast, just to try and break his momentum. And this is actually what I wanted to say in, in this guide. Uh, so again, very dangerous up close, Try and stay away, and the, the fight is much easier. If he throws a lot of Repukens, try and punish, jump over. Do you have an orbital? Knock this up for two, jump over, or while running one plus two with Noctis. Just do you have a move that jumps with a lot of forward momentum? Law's uh, legend kick. You know, just apply something like that. Um, sidestep right is very powerful versus geese. Um, He's a counter hit god, be very careful how you approach him, how you attack. Don't press buttons as you're sidestepping. Uh, he has no standing launcher to punish you with, unless he has meter. Please abuse that. Uh, do you have moves that on block knock him far back? He won't be able to range punish you. Keep that in mind, try and abuse that. Um, yeah, uh, these are the rules. But is, is he a very... Powerful character. Is he very hard to deal with? Yeah, he is. He just is. If he's pressuring you, I would advise you to not duck. The mids are so dangerous. Um, try and backdash away. Try and backdash away. His, again, this 50-50 here with down 1 plus 2. It has no range. And if you're backdashing away, the follow-up won't connect. Um, but is this difficult? Yeah, it is. Uh, so, uh, I hope this gave you gave you a little bit uh, of information to try and deal with this matchup. But, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Uh, but I, I sure hope I helped you. And I hope that next time you fight Geese, you at least feel that you can counter some of the stuff he's doing. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I hope this helped. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.